Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, second day of my four day weekend and I got a couple things I need to do today. I got to run over to Lowe's and I got to run over to Home Depot. Uh, you may recall that about two weeks ago today, I actually went and bought a riding lawnmower at Lowe's and it's two weeks later and they still have not delivered it. Um, the, even the receipt that I have says that it should have arrived eight days ago, last uh, a week ago yesterday. So uh, I'm going to go crack skulls over there and let's get this thing out here. You know, they're, they made the argument that it may take a little while to do just because of all this coronavirus. Well, that's kind of a nonsense uh, excuse. We're not a week into this virus uh, and scrambling to figure out how we're going to make things work. This virus has been going on for six months now. So, you know, they're just not doing anything about it. And I'm going to basically give them an ultimatum that I want the lawnmower here by the end of the day or I'm going to ask for my money back. I hate being a jerk like that, but two weeks to get a lawnmower here, that's unacceptable. I'm five miles away from them. That doesn't take that long. And it isn't the first time I've run into this kind of issue with them either. It was the same thing with the uh, washer and dryer and the barbecue, because I bought those at Lowe's too. And they were quoting some outrageous delivery date. And I finally went home and came back and got a U-Haul truck and just brought it home myself. Uh, but I'm not, I can't do that with this. This thing's too big to get out of a U-Haul truck. So uh, they're going to have to do it and it's going to have to be here today or I'm done with them. Now secondly, uh, I want to also finally get in here and paint the trim um, in here on the, uh, on the baseboards and on the crown molding up here. Now, I've been trying to try uh, to find a blue color that I had in the house uh, in California that I really liked, and I found some cheap paint chips that were close, but they weren't quite the right thing. And uh, so I was starting to wonder what I was gonna do about that. Well, this morning I found this, and this is actually the paint top for the color I'm looking for. And we've got, I've got the part number now, or the color number and the color name. So I'm gonna go buy a gallon of that and uh, that's gonna be at Home Depot because that's bare paint, bare paint and we're gonna do this today. Now I've also made kind of a big decision on this. I've been trying to think what I'm gonna do out here in the rest of the house. And I've decided that I wanna kind of do something similar to what I had in California. In California, in the main part of the house, downstairs and in the hallway upstairs, I had kind of a light blue color. Now I'm not sure exactly what that color is, but I think I can try and find that. And I wanna paint the walls here that light blue color. And so that's what we're gonna do out here. We're not gonna do that this weekend, but uh, I am going to extend the blue crown molding uh, for the dark blue. I'm gonna do all the crown molding out here that same color. So that's how I'm going to tie this all together. See, that was part of what I was thinking is if I did just the uh, crown molding in here with a poster area, where do I stop it and how do I make the transition? But if I just continue it all the way through here, then it kind of ties everything together. It's going to be different wall color in the hall because it'll be white in there and kind of this light blue out here. But I think it'll look good and ultimately that's what we're going to do. Now, like I said, we're not going to get that done today. That's uh you know, in the next few weeks. But, uh, you know, like I said, I'm moving forward. So let's go to Lowe's and kick some butt and go to Home Depot and get some paint. Yeah, okay, Lowe's just lost a customer. I'm done with them. Um, I got in there, got to the customer service people. They looked it up. They couldn't tell me exactly why it was that it hadn't delivered, but it did, that it hadn't delivered. They, didn't, they couldn't even give me an explanation why. I said, okay, well, get it out to my house today. Oh, and they called the shipper, and the shipper said, no, way, there's no way we can do that today. So I just asked for my money, and Lowe's has lost a customer. Uh, bad news, Lowe's. Not a good way to do business. Because uh, this isn't, like I said, this isn't even the first time this has happened. Uh, there was a weird delay with the, like I said, with the washing machine and dryer and uh, barbecue too. And ultimately I ended, ended up getting the U-Haul truck to do it. So yeah, they got really serious systemic problems with their shipping department. And uh, I'm not going to have to deal with it anymore. Sorry. 
All right, so I'm done at Home Depot. I got my paint. Um, I actually picked up a couple of bags of soil because I want to plant those lilacs that I bought a week ago. And I actually bought a lot of extra soil because I'm expecting that the settle, that the ground is going to settle a little bit as, uh, as time goes by. So I'm going to actually kind of create a little bit of a mound uh, with that uh, for the lilacs so that when everything does settle, it doesn't settle below ground level. I also went with Plan B, uh, my, set, my backup option for the uh, lawnmower. I got it from Home Depot, got the Troy built Bronco 42 inch model. And it was a little bit more expensive, but it had kind of comparable features, had some really good reviews. So I think it'll be a good option. And they're gonna be able to get it to me in two days. So I ought to have it on Wednesday and we can finally get my lawn mowed. So let's go home and maybe do a little painting. All right, so I had kind of a funny encounter when I was at Home Depot buying my uh, lawnmower. Uh, turned out when I was trying to pay for it, uh, the uh, bank kept rejecting my card. Now I knew that I had enough money in the account. I had enough money to buy four of those things. Uh, but uh, for some reason it wouldn't go through. I ended up calling the, the bank and sitting on hold for a few minutes waiting to talk to somebody. It turns out the problem was that apparently I had exceeded my daily purchase. I was using uh, my card as a debit card because uh, that's generally how I do it. That's just uh, how I do do things like that. And it rejected it apparently because I tried to spend more than a thousand dollars. Now that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me because um, you know I've spent more than a thousand dollars on multiple occasions using this card as a debit card because you know I bought a washer and dryer and a barbecue from Lowe's uh, that was you know, well over $2,000. I, I uh, bought some other things. I uh, had to, you know, paid for, I paid to do the sewer line with this card uh, as a debit card. And those were all a lot more than $1,000. But I don't know what the deal is, but they basically just said, have the, have the person rerun it as a credit card and it should go fine. And they did, they ran it as a credit card and it went through. So we're all okay on that. Like I said, I'm gonna have the lawnmower in two days. So that's good. Uh, hopefully they'll keep, uh, keep their promise, unlike Lowe's. Uh, but anyway, let's move on. Um, what I've done now is I'm starting to get ready to paint the uh, crown molding in here. And so I kind of wrapped everything with, uh, with plastic. This is more of that painter's plastic that I used when I uh, segregated everything uh, when I was uh, cutting the top off of the desk. And I have a lot of that. So I've got it taped up. I'm actually not gonna do both halves of it at once because uh, this is gonna take a little while to do. So if I do this, I'm basically isolating myself from the bathrooms because there's one bathroom in, behind this door and there's this bathroom here. Now, if I have one of them going, then I'm fine. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do this one side first. And like I said, I've got it all taped up now, ready to go. And I'm just gonna go over it with a brush and do that. And then we'll, then we'll tear this down. Probably gonna have to do a couple coats in here because it's a dark color over a white color and you saw what happened in the bathroom. So we'll probably have to do a couple coats on that. But we'll get this all done on this side. We'll tear it down and then we'll retape up the other side and do that side. All right, so I'm a few hours later. I've done three coats on the trim on the uh, crown molding. I think it turned out really good. Uh, like I said, it took three coats to get it to fully cover. Uh, and I got to do a little bit of touch up. There's a little bit of a uh, goop right there and that, but it looks pretty solid. I like uh, the accent. Um, some people suggested I should do black, but I've just got, had experience with this color blue and I really like this color. And I think it really pops. And tomorrow we'll continue around the other side and uh, finish this job up. But I think this looks really good right now, so I am going to end this one for now. Thank you as always for watching, and I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night. <laughs>